How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Shaving with Serge. And today's it. Today's the day. Today is number 30. So today is the final shave of my 30-day straight razor challenge to myself. I started back about three, almost four months ago. I average, uh, you know, two shaves a week. If that's, that's why it took, it took a while. Um, and, you know, 30 shaves ago, it was my first straight razor shave. So this is, you know, to me, this is me uh, taking off my training wheels and I consider myself graduating from a beginner straight razor to, you know, a, a decent moderate straight razor now, you know, intermediate straight razor shaver, if that makes any sense to you guys. All right, I got Pantera playing. Um, I, mean, I follow some page that's been making a lot of fun of Pantera a lot lately, so put it in my head and I'm like, you know, I'll listen to Pantera. Here we go, listen to some Pantera. And uh, for this shave, I'm gonna return back to some of the products I used for my very first shave. I'm gonna be using my Lowborn brush handle. I bought off of eBay. It's, um, I got this super cheap, like 26 bucks or something like that. Doesn't have a coin. And I bought the Maggard Super High Density 26 millimeter white tip badger knot and put it, set it myself. Um, this is the very first brush I used for my very first straight razor shave. For the razor itself, you know what? I'm returning to the straight razor I first bought and ever used. And this is the Ralph Oss 6 8 Round Point. Um, brand new, um, you know, made in Germany. Uh, you know, a great razor, especially for, you know, taking on straight razor in for the first time. If you're ever gonna take it on, you make sure you start off with a decent razor, a good razor, because if you have a, a bad razor that you bought that says it's shave ready and it's not actually shave ready, you're gonna have a horrible shave. And you know, this is something that takes skill and learning to do anyway. So you wanna be set up with the right and proper tools. So either go, I would recommend the Ralph Oss because it, they become uh, professionally honed and shot by the maker himself are buying then this is what I've learned and loved, buying vintage razors that are restored. And all those have been taken to stones by whoever restored them. And most of those are all shave ready. That's the way to go, in my opinion. And for the shave, I'm gonna be doing, or for the soap, I'm gonna be doing a Franken shave. So this is a Franken shave. Nobody tag me, I'm doing it myself, but I'm gonna tag three people. So here it goes, I got my soaps all mixed up in this beautiful bowl. This would be a longer video, guys. Beautiful bowl, ready to go. And in there, I got me, I got a bunch of stuff. I am gonna be, I do have the first soap I used on my first shirt razor shave, which is SoCal Hipster. That's in there, all right? I got the undersea. That's all mashed up in there. I got grapefruit. That's all mashed up in there. I got Aloha Smackdown. That's all up in there, all right? I got me some Asian plum, all up in there. <laughs> I got me some rabbit banana. That's all up in there, all right? And I'm not done yet, all right? I'm not done yet. I got me some motherfucker. And you know that motherfucker's up in there, all right? And I even decided to throw this in there. Runway. That's all up in there, all right? So there's a whole big mixture of different soaps in there. And it's my Franken shave. And I'm going to be tagging three shavers in this, all right? I'm going to be tagging. The first one's going to be Zen Shaves. Check him out, okay? He's a straight razor shaver, you know? Um, he, check out his page, you know, I, I really enjoy watching his videos, I found him, and he needs he needs more subscribers, guys. So, you know, let's go support a, a brother, a fellow straight razor in, in the scene, and let's, you know, let's check out his page. And I'm gonna tag him, I wanna see your Franken shaves in, all right? Another one I'm gonna be tagging is gonna be, um, Kearns, shaving with Kearns, cutting with Kearns, something like that, I forgot. <laughs> It's Kearns though, I know that, all right? I'll, boom, fix it, link it in the video. And Kearns, Kearns is a beginning straight razor shaver. Uh, he uses the, he's, been, he's going on his path of straight razor shaving. And, you know, let's show some support to another one. You know, let's, let's I wanna see your Franken shave, all right? And the third and final one is gonna be Vito Bell. Vito Bell is a young guy, student, you know, 
Um, he's recently taken on the straight razor journey as well. He's already honing, you know, check out his page. You, you know, he said nobody ever tags him and stuff. Well, you're tagged, buddy. You're tagged in this Franken shave. So just get, you know, a bunch of soap mash up and let's do that Franken shave. All right, and for the aftershave, I'm only gonna do three. I was like, I wasn't gonna search and grab. That's just too many liquids to try to put in my hand, you know? I'm gonna be doing a, a, a little bit of Asian plum, a little bit of rabbit banana, and a little bit of Aloha Smackdown. That's gonna be my aftershave, right? All right, so let's get into the shave. Finally, right? I gotta, man. All right, let's mix this all up. All right, so you know, so I started my, my journey, you know, just three months ago, three months, maybe four months ago, something like that, all right? And, uh, you know, I I truly love straight razor shaving. And along that time, I have acquired, you know, quite a few, not quite a few, I've, I've acquired, you know, a handful of straight razors, some awesome vintages, you know, um, uh, Max Sprecher Custom, you know. I think at the time when I first started straight razor shaving, I only had probably like, Three brushes. So, you, know, the, you know, in that amount of time, I've, I've acquired a lot of stuff and, you know, I, I've learned some stuff. Um, I like to think I've learned my technique uh, is proficient, at least. You know, I'm not saying I'm a, I'm a master straight razor shaver. I got a long way to go still. Um, but, you know, like I said, I feel I am no longer a beginner. I am at least a decent intermediate straight razor shaver. And so now I, will, I won't need to tag my videos anymore, what number it is be the last time you're gonna see number a number in my video uh, you know at least number you know, 30 31 whatever it is no 30 is the last one um I, I felt at first you know it was because it was a challenge to myself and also um you know any new followers that came along wanted them to know as well just letting you know like hey i'm new in this journey you know um so i was learning i wasn't you know i wasn't claiming or thinking or giving these tips out or anything like that uh, you know, and not knowing what I was doing at all. Um, man, that's a lot of soap. All right. Um, you know, lost my train of thought. <laughs> I got distracted by the soap. But, you know, I've really enjoyed it. I've really come to love straight razor shaving. This is, you know, I, I, I still have, I own two DEs. I probably will rarely buy any new one, like I said, I'm never gonna buy one, but you know, I have a Mercur Future, and my first one that I got is like a wool doho or something like that, which I went out to a friend to borrow. Hopefully he's enjoying it and using it. Um, you know, just, I was trying to help him along the journey to see if he would, this was something he would like and get into. Um, but yeah, definitely, you know, DE, uh, DE shaving to straight razor, it's, it's like an automatic transmission to, you know, manual transmission. Um, there's just something I love. Let me get into the shave now. There's just something I love. There's just something about it. You know, just putting that blade to your skin. It is so rewarding and just, I don't know, just the act of it. Maybe there's something primal in me that, you know, just something about putting a big blade to your face. I, it's just, to me, it's the most satisfying shave. Um, and I'm not gonna go back from that. I'm not gonna turn back, you know. I'm glad I found this hobby. I'm glad I found this old style, traditional style of shaving and bringing it back. Let me tell you what it smells like. This smells, it's, I can't, it smells all mashed up. It smells like a, like a citrus aquatic scent. That's, you know, it smells, yeah, I guess that's probably, you know, they're all fruitful soaps, but yeah, that's exactly what it smells like to me, man. It just mash up. It smells good. You know, it doesn't smell, it blended all well together somehow. It's not a bad smelling scent with all this. It's probably what I pick out of it the most is Motherfucker, Undersea, and Grapefruit. Yeah, I don't get any of the banana. Maybe a little bit of a smackdown. I don't get any of the red banana. What else I put in there? Asian plum. Don't really get that plum or the must from the runaway. I don't got coconut. It's all, it smells all like motherfucker undersea. And um, 
What else did I say? Little pepper under seat and grapefruit. Not bad at all. And I have so much soap. Bear with me as I work this in. <laughs> I guess this is a, a half bowl, half face lather. As was suggested to me by Guy over at the Shaving Chronicles that I should try. That's his favorite. Favorite technique with shaving is a half bowl, half face lather. I'm a face lather, guys. I like face lathering. Um, I don't know, maybe I just don't have the great technique in, uh, the bowl lathering, but I just, I just get more satisfaction from a face lather. More water. It's cold. Man. Let me just clean this up a little bit. Just off my hand. Alright. A little bit more water. Almost there. So I want to thank you guys, all my followers, subscribers. You know, I have a lot of fun. YouTube. And uh, Instagram, my main, main source of posting, I do, you know, post on some of the, you know, blathering blades, um, wolf pack, all on, you know, Facebook as well. I want to thank you guys for all your support. You know, in this journey, my 30 shades, you know, I've already give, done my first giveaway, which was just reset. Congratulations, Banaka. I got the notification. Her soap was out for delivery today. She chose the undersea. Um meeting cool people man you know i have my favorites you know my my, my you know of, of shavers that i like to watch and that i enjoy and you know i do my best to try to watch their videos and you know i try with everybody that i'm sus subscribed to it's so hard there's so many of us you know so many of you guys um to at least like and you know i'd like to try to give everybody at least five minutes of time there's so, you know there, there is a handful of them where i, I do watch all their video or you know, pretty close to all their video and um you know just you know just giving that support those likes those comments you know um met some cool people in here i'm really enjoying being a part of this community so i just want to thank you guys for you know joining with me there's there's, been, there's a handful of you i've checked my first video my first comments who have been with me since the beginning i really appreciate that and one of those ones would be guy over the shaving chronicles he's uh He's giving me lots of advice and you know he's honed my ra he's owned a handful of my razors for me and he's always willing to you know he's always been willing to give me his time and advice and everything and so he's kind of like been he's my unofficial mentor one of my you know my unofficial mentors on this and so i really appreciate that you know like i said it's just that's just one of the cool people i've met in this scene and you know obviously you guys know who you are i talk to you guys um and all that fun stuff so let's go let's get on with the shave This razor was taken abuse, you know, it's brand new. It was my first one, fell off. My shelf, chips, all that stuff, had to get it re-honed. Um, this is my first one, you know, I learned, I learned how to shop with everything. And so it's nice to kind of, you know, go back to, or not go back, but just return to this razor for the shave. Mm. 
like I said, um, I, I am happy with this one. I am happy this was one I learned with. It was a good razor. It was a good first straight razor to get me in there with a proper tool that would, you know, allow me to learn. Learn and enjoy this hobby. And learn this way of shaving, you know? tell you uh, a few things I learned uh, the hard way as well during the wet shaving. One thing I learned the hard way was don't ever shave with a blade that's not that's not in, in good condition. You know, I bought one off of eBay, had a kink in it, and uh, tried shaving with it. I knew it had, I knew there was something wrong with it because my shrop had left the line in my shrop and I was like, yeah, well, you know, ignorant. Let me try anyways. And, and I ended up cutting myself up. Surprise, right? A uh, few good times on that, on that, on that uh, shave with that. I had to send it out to get her home. So never shave with a straight razor that has a damaged edge. Boom, learn that, <laughs> all right? Um, not all straight razors come shave ready, even though they say they are. You know, they gotta be taken through the, the progression of stones in order for that, for you to have a good, enjoyable shave. And that's very important. I'm now looking into my own journey as well into uh, stone. So I'm already looking, um, talking to a dealer that was recommended by a handful of people for uh, where to get, you know, Jane ads from. Man, it's, it's a lot more complicated than I thought. I had no idea stones were that complicated, especially Jane ads. Um, pricey as well you know i'm also looking for synthetics uh i got some great you know advice from from people that's why i really enjoy being a part of those forums because you know people do really reach out and try to help you out you know uh and you know i'm kind of leaning towards the synthetic way to be honest uh i guess it's kind of a combo i don't remember the names i'm probably gonna butcher it like i think uh starting off with the 600 and a thousand um Chohara, I've, I'll place it somewhere, right there, okay? And then afterwards move into uh, the sy synthetic stones. It's like a Shapton glass or something like that. I forgot, it's the stones that Max uses, Sprecher. And so far his stone, you know, I just love his razor and that edge and it's still expensive to buy all those stones all the way up from the 600 to the 30k i'm looking at well over 800 bucks man so it's still really expensive but compared to jnats i think jnats go for more than that for one stone so that's probably the way i'm gonna be heading we'll see no, i did a I, I did mention before, briefly, I think, or posted something. I did already, you know, go with another Max Sprecher. Um, so, you know, just two Max Sprecher purchases back to back. That's huge. Huge prices. That's, you know, those things are just as much as the stones. Um, and now I'm looking at the stones. going to pump the brakes a little bit, you know. <laughs> this rat, I fell down this rabbit hole. I fell down this rabbit hole hard to do that. And who knew there was a whole new rabbit hole with honey? You know, it's just, I'm getting such a satisfaction from straight razor shaving. I just feel like I gotta get that prideful satisfaction as well from putting my own edges on and just you know, learning, just learning a new skill. Never stop learning, guys. There's just something in life. You know, don't become stale, stagnant. I need that. I always need the new hobby. Or just learning something new, new skill. Man, I got so much soap. Alright. 
So we'll see. We'll see. I have them in my Amazon cart. Haven't pulled the trigger. That JNAT dealer is going to get back to me today and give me some options and prices. So we'll see. As for the Sprecker, oh yeah, I always jump around when I talk. As for the Sprecker, uh, I'll tell you guys what I ordered. Congrats to Ken over at Shape 326. He just got his his Chiquita banana <laughs> back smacker. I forgot what he named it. Something along those lines. I reason to put that sticker on. Yeah. Um, you know, beautiful, beautiful razor. Hope he is enjoying. His sprecker as much as I enjoy mine. Um, and for the one I ordered, I ordered another 10 8 blade. I didn't have as much issues with a bigger blade that I thought I would or, you know, concerns I would. So I went with the 10H again. He said more, more blade for my buck. I went with the Balloon Palace scales, beautiful set of scales. Um, I went with the Spanish classic point. So it's not the spike, it's almost like a barber's notch in a way, just a little bit more aggressive looking is the best way I can put it. And the barber's notch. And uh, that file work, you know, that fancy, that fancy file work that I like. Um, we'll see how it goes, you know, I'll have that probably sometime in January. <laughs> if his, uh, if his uh, four month wait time on his wait list on his website stays true. I think I got mine last one in like three months. So it was a, it got a little bit quicker. Turn this around. I got a lot of lather everywhere. I did learn I do like I do like uh, wiping my blade on a towel rather than wetting it now as well. I learned that more later on into the videos. And you know, I did, I did debate back on um, being alive for my final shave. But you know what, YouTube is where it started. So I figured I'd just keep it true to that, finish my 30 straight razor shave challenge where I'm considering my little graduation <laughs> from beginner to intermediate. Still have a lot to learn technique and skills to sharpen, you know? And I feel this is something that just will probably just keep, never end, you know? Uh, it's actually pretty good set, man. Pretty pretty good for being a, a mix up. This kind of reminds me of uh, being young and going to 7-Eleven or something and um, mixing all the sodas in the fountain in a cup. As an, as an adult making jungle juice, <laughs> like a bunch of like just like sodas and punch and alcohol, just a mixture of different stuff.
And then just painting water in. More water, guys. More water. I'm not too concerned anymore with making sure I go down you know, in one pass, one direction, one way, second pass, one direction, the other way. You know, I just, I, all our hair is different on our faces. Um, all that stuff, you know, and just what feels good, what feels good to you, what you enjoy, you know, so it is what it is. You know, just enjoy it. Enjoy what you're doing. Take your time. Enjoy straight razor shading, shaving in general. Just enjoy it. Take your time. This is you time. This is your time. You know, this is my few 30 minute break I get to have to myself before I return back to dad life. You know, if I'm not working, I'm with the kids. So it's always nonstop. My neck is real sensitive as well. It's real sensitive as to like coloration. Like if I scratch it, even when I'm just scratching my nails, it gets red. I can see the finger, finger um, nail marks in it for a little bit till it goes away. So my neck's sensitive like that for uh, redness. As in for sensitive, like prone to burning or cutting will be my lip area. That area for me is more sensitive. I noticed, uh, you know, I get this little slight burning sensation if I'm too aggressive or uh, even with a brush, razor, whatever it may be. And one thing, you know, also I learned is that I actually get less sweepers since I started straight razor shaving. You know, you're gonna cut yourself no matter what. It's bound to happen. You got a sharp blade in your hand with a DE uh, cartridge, whatever. Uh, straight razor. Uh, but I do get less weepers. I got a lot more weepers with the DE. Full pass. And I'll get that. My usual area is closer in that mirror. Oh. <sighs> 
one thing that, another thing I learned is it's messy. Face lathering, lathering, I always wear a shirt. I know I'm some take it off. I don't mind getting dirty because it's gonna get everywhere. So you get on your collar. Lathering is a messy and fun. It is what it is. All right, let's see what areas I missed or need to be touched up. It feels almost like I'm cutting my nose hair. It's a way all up in there. <laughs> oh, that's good, man. That's good. I only chose a few songs. Like it took longer than I thought. All oh, repeating. I like Pantera, but I'm not a huge fan of Pantera. I, you know, I like them. All right. How many minutes? 32. That's probably the longest video of the day. All right, let's go to that aftershave, guys. Oh, I still got a bunch of good lather up in here. All right, so first up is Asian plum. A little bit of Asian plum. Next is the, I should have had them all open. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the Aloha. All right, so Asian plum, rabbit banana, Aloha. Definitely. PAA, hands down, fill the burn. Fill the burn challenge. <laughs> Those things are something else, man. It's even when I rub up my face, that burst of alcohol makes me squint my eyes, breathe it in, I hold my breath for a split second. It is strong stuff. I'm just getting some banana. Musk. Not bad, not bad for a franken shave, guys. Ah, more on, ah, I fell to the side of the bottle. Oh yeah. Look at this, look at this hobby, man. This hobby's something else, right? You know, um, first time using this one because my original one I have found broke when my shelf found that my straight razor chip. This is my second use of this one. Look at that. I have so many soaps. Not so many, but I have a good amount of soaps. And I'm sure you, there's a good amount of you out there that have the same problem. Only been used once. Same thing with uh, um, aftershaves. You know, I try to, I'm trying to come back around to them, but it's hard to not buy something new. It's, it's so hard. Stop releasing stuff, Peter. Damn it. <laughs> Look at this. This is uh, Asian Plum. This is about probably like the you know, five, six uses of this. And it is one of my favorite sets from A&E. I do have two sets now. This set I use for the soap, and this one is uh, the Pre-Kaizen Base. Anybody wants it, you know, it's in good shape. Like I said, it's probably about five uses in. Cause I, I, got, I got it in Kaizen. And you know, look at that. It's still, I can't tell, but yeah, kind of, see how full it is? This is still all good to go. You know, all you gotta do is, if you're not all weary, take a pick. I use a guitar pick, you scrape off the top, whatever. Are you gonna give a fuck about my cooties? This is soap, man. Fucking man shit, you know, just fuck it. You guys want it? 
let me know. You know, I'll ship it to you because it's just going to sit here and collect dust on my shelf and that's stupid. And you know, I'm getting to the point now that I think I'm going to start getting rid of some of the stuff I don't like. There's not much I don't like. Um, I tried this one a couple times before I decide that. And you know, another one. Um, you know, for all, all in all, I do either, I have my soaps and splashes I really love. I have some that I like, I have some that are good, you know, I have some that are just like, you know, like, I don't care for. Uh, collection's getting a little big. I'm gonna start downsizing you know, some of the stuff I don't like. Or you know, I don't care if I could do part with, you know. Same thing with brushes. I love, 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 you know, like, like, meh, meh, you know, there's no one back. I you know, just maybe start getting rid of some stuff, you know. We'll see. I don't know. I'm blabbing on. All right, man. You guys have a good one. It's a long video. Thank you guys for joining me. Number 30 in the books. <sighs> Graduation ceremony. <sighs> you know, now I, I consider myself intermediate, no longer a beginner. And uh, so good. Looks so good. Almost to eat. I must be hungry. Have a good one. Bye, guys.